Hey guys, I'm Vajahat Ahmed and I'm giving you lectures on banking. This is our sixth lecture on banking. In banking, we are uh, learning bank counts and in bank counts, our topic is profit and loss term deposit count. So first of all, we have to take a look at its definition. This account is opened by the customer who do not need this money in near future. They open this account for a fixed time of period. Second one is we have to take a look at its features of profit and loss deposit account. I used PLS for profit and loss in a short term. So first our point is account holders. What is account holder? This account is suitable for those who have surplus money for a long time period and they want to earn profit from it. Second one is no need of introduction. This account can be opened even without the introduction. Third is fixed amount. Time period is fixed for this amount remain fixed till the expiry date. Fourth one is fixed time period. Time period is fixed for this account which is determined at the time of opening of account. Fifth one is minimum period requirement. This account can be opened for a minimum period of six months. Term deposit receipt TDR. In short term, I use TDR for term deposit receipts. The bank issues receipt called TDR at the time of opening account, which contain the amount, date of deposit, and time period of account. Next one is rate of interest. Bank determines rate of interest or loss on half yearly basis. Next one is no further deposits. The account holder cannot deposit further amount in the same account. He has to open new account for further deposits. No checkbooks. No checkbook is provided by the bank. Withdraw before due date. The customer can withdraw after six months before the date of expiry he gets sharing in profit next one is no profit for withdrawal before due date if customer can withdraw before six months then no profit will be given by the bank moreover the account holder has to share loss of bank renewal of deposits at the time of maturity the customer has right whether to withdraw his money and profit or to renew it for next year. Next one is payment order. Profit is paid to the customer by the payment order. It can be credited to customer's account by using pay and slip. And last one is interest free loan. Bank provides facility of interest free loan against the security of PLS deposits. These are few features of PLS term deposit count. In our next lecture, we will learn what is fixed deposit count and its features.